Hi folks. If you're listening to this YouTube video, it's because you're interested in the subject of UFOs, extraterrestrials, or civilizations off the surface of this earth. And what you see in front of you in the Firefox web browser is the website of the European Space Agency. And the reason why we're going to investigate the photographs made available here by the agency is because this European Space Agency has made available to the public photographs of the planet Mars that conclusively demonstrate that there is intelligent life on Mars. And it's free to anyone in the public who wants to download these photographs. Uh, you will see evidence of a large uh, village or maybe even a military base. It's unclear exactly what it is. But when you see the photograph, it will be very definitive that you are looking at something artificial. Now, <clears throat> the web address for the European Space Agency site is www.esa.int. And once you're at the site, we want to go to this option right here, Mars Facts and Images which will um, direct us to the Mars Express program run by the ESA. So we're going to double click on that. So here we are, we're at the Mars Express website. And what we're interested in is images or photographs taken by Mars Express. And so we choose this option right here, Mars Express Images. And we have the multimedia gallery of the Mars Express images. Now, the image that we want to find is on page 21. So currently we're on pages 1 through 10 as options. So we're going to have to scroll forward until we come to page 21. And here we are. We've scrolled forward and we're now on page 21. The photograph that we're interested in downloading is this photograph right here. It's called the Crater Hail in Perspective Looking West. Now there are other pictures of the Crater Hail and those pictures do show some civilization evidence as well but it's this particular photograph that is the very best one to download. Uh, we'll download the high-resolution version, which is right here, high-resolution. And we agree to the ESA's conditions that we will not sell this picture. And the picture is now downloading in front of us. Excellent. Now I'm going to save this picture on our computer. And I'll find a file to save it in. We'll go over to here. Let's say in video. And I save it here. Great. Now we're going to go and take a peek. I'm going to go into my video file and right here is the picture that we just downloaded. It's called um, hail crater underscore h dot jpeg and it's 1.1 megabytes in size. So I'm going to view this photo now in a photo viewer and since I'm using Linux I'm going to use the program Quick Show. And here is the picture. Now, this is the image unprocessed. We haven't done anything to it. We've simply downloaded it and now we're looking at it. If you look in this region right here, you will see unequivocal evidence of civilization you will see highly organized geometric patterns here, here, and here. 
and there's some more down here as well. Now this will become more apparent once we darken the photo a bit. The photo is very bright. Perhaps it's been made deliberately bright. We don't know. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. There's twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, and eight times. Well, I went through eight cycles of darkening the photograph. Now I'm going to just address the contrast a bit to see if I can make more contrast. Give it a little more contrast, a little more contrast. There we are. Well now, if you take a look at this area right here, you should be able to see all these different geometrical structures. Now you may not be able to see it easily because of the way this video is made, so I'm going to magnify this image once, twice, three times. So let's take a peek. Here we are. We're at the bottom of the image. Now, I'm hoping that uh, at this point you can see all the geometrical outlines visible here. Looks like buildings of some sort here. A patchwork quilt of different structures. There is a cross shape with a circle through it. In fact, there's numerous, there's hundreds of highly regularized geometric structures. You can see them all along here. They look like they're connected by a road. Something here that looks like a road or a passageway. There's a triangular shaped building here. Uh, there's two opposing squares here. There's a patchwork quilt of something. And there's some oddly shaped buildings here and more buildings here. Now this is very interesting because when you see all these geometrical shapes you realize that this is not a random physical occurrence. This cannot be geology. This cannot be random chemistry. This is the unequivocal signs of intelligent life. Now as an interesting sidelight if you look here at this rather faded image, you'll see an eye socket, an eye socket, a nose, and a chin, and a mouth. This appears to be some sort of face monument that's facing upwards from the bottom of the crater. Uh, if we drag this image around, we see even more civilization evidence over here to the right. More geometric structures everywhere we go along the bottom of the crater. Quite extensive, really. You can see it down here. You can see it all around here. Looks like a, a, a road or a connecting uh, passageway of some, si some sort. Odd checkerboard patterns here as well. So, this is not an image that we have created. This is not an artificial image. This is not a Photoshop creation. Anyone can go to the European Space Agency website, follow the instructions that we've just followed. You can download the image, darken it somewhat, increase the contrast a bit, then magnify it by about 300%, and this is what you see. Now, there's large areas uh, on the image where there appears to be a lot of fog. And what that really is, I believe, and others believe, is it is a, a software application that the Space Agency has applied uh, to this image in an attempt to conceal the presence of these structures from the public. So this is actually a smudging application. If you look through here, there's a large band of smudge. And this smudging application has been used to try to conceal this. But for some reason, 
the software that, that was being used failed and right in this region here you see a tremendous amount of civilization evidence. So I encourage everyone who's interested in this topic to go to the European Space Agency, uh, download this photo of the Hale Crater. Um, the other Hale Crater photos do show some civilization evidence as well uh, and some of them are badly smudged as well but you will find evidence there. If this topic interests you, you can visit uh, the website www.marsanomalyresearch.com and it's uh, a great site and you will find a lot of evidence about civilization on Mars and you will find a specific report authored by Mr. Joseph Skipper